What's up guys, Eclectic Nerd here again and welcome to another special episode of Space Engineers. And today we are going to attempt to bore through the moon. Yes, that is what we are going to do. So I tried doing it with a, a Earth-like planet, still haven't done it yet. It's really, really boring. But um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to... A, a moon shouldn't be too bad. Moons are only about 19 kilometers in diameter, I believe. So that shouldn't be too hard for us to get through. So I'm just going to go ahead and start getting my thing set up here. Basically all I'm going to do is turn my gyroscope on, my override on, and I'm just going to start going down. There will probably be a bunch of cuts and stuff in between. Uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll obviously let it run. So hopefully it doesn't take too long and this isn't a terribly boring experience. I am curious to see at what point the gravity will start dropping and at what rate it will drop at. Let's see here. Oh my. Okay, so I'm only about 100 meters below the surface almost. So I rigged that up so I can just kind of let gravity pull me as opposed to uh, pushing with my thrusters. That might even give me a, a slightly more precise uh, descent rate. Doing quite well on fuel too. A full day worth of fuel. I still want to know what these orange like splotches are in the rock. Like is that a normal thing or is that supposed to, is that like, like a glitch? What's going on there? If anybody knows I'd love to hear uh, it in the comment section just for educational purposes. Alright, I appear to have reached an odd point here. Huh? Yeah, I cannot... really cannot drill any deeper. And again, I can't tell. Yeah, that's, that's clearly, clearly going through. Hmm. All right, I am going to just log off and log back in, and I will see if that fixes it. All right, we back. That seem just uh, kind of logging back off and lo uh, logging off and logging back in seems to have fixed it. So I don't know what's up with that. If it's just kind of like a loading thing. Or if it's just something with how the game is running and it doesn't want to load anymore, I don't know. Alright guys, I have finally reached the center of the moon and I think I've divided by zero in terms of space engineers. Because I've been mining, going very slowly, and I've had the game crash twice. Like, not a complete lockup, like the game just dis blew away, completely disappeared. And when I come back, this happens. Right now I have um, block destruction turned off because I was worried about this. So um, I think what happened here is for some reason the game doesn't know where I am and it puts me in a wall. And really the only way I found to get out is to kind of... Let's see here, I think if I dampen off... There. Okay. So, this is it. Roughly the center of the planet, more or less. At least as far as I can get without the game going completely uh, bonkers on me. But it's as I thought. I mean, Space Engineers is pretty true to at least the theoretical portion of um, being able to drill to the center of planets. Because now that there's Essentially, there's a, there's not there's as much mass around me, which generally accounts for how gravity is created. Is just you have a lot of mass there, more or less. What the? That's weird. This is also weird to me. Like this is you know, this is new new frontier. But if you watch the, whoa, huh? Okay, so hang on here. Let's check. Let's watch the gravity uh, thing here, because that changed. Or did it? Huh. 
Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, what? Okay, so that way is up towards the surface. Unfortunately, this tunnel wasn't entirely straight. So, it gets kind of wonky. But, at some point, there, I will actually get some gravity out of that. So, I'm going to go back. Whoa. Okay, that still shows me as, that's the way down. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get the game to crash again. So here's what we're going to do. Hop in here. Also, I noticed, I think, yeah, look, the um, my altimeter, I think I get, like, wonky reading sometimes. Huh, or not. What? Yeah, see? Okay. 94. 94, 94, 20, 94, 19, and it starts going down again. So this, roughly about 94, yeah, so roughly about 94, 35 ish, 94, 38. I can't get the precise enough. Seven, so thirty-nine. So ninety-four, thirty-nine is roughly. So this is pretty much the center. And apparently, yeah. See, we. <laughs> I love the uh, the zero G shimmy. Mm -hmm. na -na. Walk like an Egyptian. Most people probably, most kids these days probably won't get that, but whatever. I'm kind, get, I'm close to being old, so it's all right. All right, but yeah, that's so. This took several hours because I had to go very, very slowly. Um, and yeah, I think. So I'm just going to round this out by get, trying to get the game to crash again. Just because that intri that interests me. Make sure I'm roughly... Okay. Gyro stabilizer on. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And start going... I'm going to go slow. Because I'm not exactly sure at which point... It's gonna decide to crap the bed. I got pretty far the last couple of times, as far as I remember. I keep getting that number is jumping between the two. Obviously, it's like between 94.30. Ninety four, yeah, ninety four, fifteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. So something must be going on with uh, positional assist with the positional stuff that it doesn't know exactly where I am. Maybe sixty, seventy. I am curious as to how far I can get before it kicks me out again for dividing by zero. And here I wanted to do a thing where I would find the exact dead center and then basically bore out a chamber so I could have a zero G chamber on the moon. Seems normal.
and I'm going even slower than I was before. Normally I try to keep it op roughly an optimal one meter a second speed because that's kind of the fastest you can go before you start having drill issues. So let's see, I'm at 94. See, I don't even know if I can trust my that little altimeter gauge anymore because... Actually, I'm going to save the game quick just because... I don't want to have to go back to where I was. I want to know at which point will that altimeter... Okay, 3381, 3879. Because I'm curious if... Because obviously that's measuring from where I started. However, at some point it's going to have to Luck sort of lock on to the other point, I'm guessing, just because that's how it works. It works on whatever's kind of below you, or whatever the re like the reference point is for the planet. Seems pretty stable thus far. I think I got down to like 96 something, 9600. Yep, there it is. Wow. That was complete and utter crash. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, uh, I am going to <laughs> the uh, space engineers. Application error occurred. For more information, please see application log. Let's see here. Um, let's see. I know I had it. I had it pulled up before. Let's see here. What do we got? Uh, I'm going to close that out. And let's see. I'll just read it off. Yes, submit that. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, sure fixation. Yeah. Let's see here. So, let's see. Last time a crash was 2934. I get thread one GC memory blah global events object builder spawn cargo. Uh, See uh, twenty one thirty four five hiding mess window. I probably could just easily let's see here. Since I'm using fraps, uh, add window capture. Okay. Okay. There we go. on here. Um, can I just edit this? Uh, position size. There we go. So it looks like it just kind of shows me trundling along and then all of a sudden error. Branch name cannot be resolved. Interesting. I don't know much about coding but obviously I done messed up. So this is going to do it for this test, I guess. I can't go much further without the game crashing. Um, hopefully somebody at Keen sees this and maybe can provide some kind of, or somebody, I'm sure somebody will see this at some point and explain what's going on. But So if you enjoyed this foray into the unknown, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you know what's going on here better than I do, uh, you know I'd love to hear an explanation for this, just because... I find it interesting that it completely just shuts the game. Like the game just cannot handle it for for whatever reason. So, until then, stay nerdy my friends.